Welcome to the Business Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. This episode is brought to you by Authors Unite. Authors Unite provides you with the support you need to finish your book. Best part is, after you finish your book, they take care of the entire publishing and marketing process 100% for you. So, if you want to become a successful author, make sure to check out AuthorsUnite.com. Now, let's jump into the episode. All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner, and today I have Alan Howell with us. He's a social media influencer, speaker and mentor, and founder of the Australian Hustle and Social Fire. So welcome to the show, man. What's going on? Pumped to have you here, man. Um, So, Alan, the first one, uh, first question that we ask on this show is, what is the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? Wow. Um, Okay. So, my big, actually, yeah, I've got a good one. So, I, um, to get to where I am now, I've tried a lot of things and I've failed a lot of things. Um, One of those being, a um, app that I tried to produce myself. Um, now, this app, it was basically like a passion project. Um, I've got a graphic design background and um, essentially went through the process of um, getting a concept together, which is basically like a, an app that um, you can put all your goals in, um, your, all your like really big goals, and then set daily tasks towards them, things like that. Um, I set out um, with no testing, no marketing background, no nothing, um, delivered this basic, basically um, designed the entire thing, paid almost 20 grand to get it developed and, and coded and, and all those other good things and um, and then produced it, like it released it to the market and it was like, right, so where's your marketing budget? How are you going to get people to download it? Um, and the biggest, <laughs> I was young and dumb. Um, <laughs> whilst it was only, what, four or five years ago, it was one of the biggest lessons for me, um, not only to test your ideas and, and things like that, but to also get backing and, and things like that before you go out and, and do stuff like that. Like there's so many ways I could have um, created a prototype, tested it, um, things like that, for so less than $100 um, rather than going and spending the 20 k um, and then having no money to, you know, do updates and make changes based on opinion, like people's feedback and things like that. So that's, <laughs> I would say to you, that has been one of the biggest wins for me. I know that, um, you know, going and spending 20 grand on something that's no longer there on the market and things like that may not sound like a win, but it, it's definitely my biggest win um, that's taught me the biggest lessons for me anyway. And then what is the most valuable piece of information we should know that's within your expertise or industry? I would say, so I work with a lot of businesses to create, uh, to generate social media um, client opportunities. Um, I'd suggest that it doesn't matter what industry you're in um, or what you do, whether it is a big business to business, whether you're in the corporate world or you're just a local business owner, or just trying to, you know, get a get your next job or get your next position. Social media has so many opportunities. And the thing is that it's it's not always like the same principles that apply in real life apply online as well. You know, like reaching out to someone via a friendly message can be one of the most effective things you can possibly do to someone who you don't know to warm, you know, start a conversation and you just never know where that conversation comes from. Like, put it to put it straight, it was a conversation that I started between a mutual friend of ours which landed me this podcast interview. So you just never know what's going to happen. Absolutely, man. And, dude, I tell people this all the time with, like, one of the reasons I love doing the podcast, like, one, I love connecting with people, but I interview a lot of people. So it's just like... 
I learned so much from them. And then also I'm building all these connections and like all of them could go in any possible direction. Like it's just like opportunity um, amongst other opportunities, you know? Exactly. Um, exactly. So it's, it's just a great resource for many reasons. But um, yeah. so the next one, Alan, is what is your best piece of overall business advice? So not necessarily industry specific. I would suggest um, to get your promise right. So I, I, when, with what I do in social media and, and everything else, I've spent a lot of time uh, being busy, but being busy for the sake of being busy and things like that. Um, and it was really because um, my message, what I promised, if you will, to my customers was too wishy-washy. Um, the moment I got fucking clear on – sorry, for sorry, I don't know if I'm – No, no, swear, you're allowed to swear. Got, you're allowed to swear. I – I got fucking clear on <laughs> exactly what it is that I'm delivering. Um, and for me, like I, I run an eight-week program, the promise that I deliver to my clients is that if you hustle, you do the work, and you put all the bits and pieces in place, you'll create 10 client opportunities every week through social media. Now, someone who's a business owner or a coach or consultant who's my ideal sort of client will be able to like clearly understand 10 client opportunities. There's obviously strategies in place. There's obviously work that's in place. But if I hustle, I do the work, I follow all the steps, I'll create these opportunities. And the moment that I set my promise right is the moment that the people who I was working with not only had a clearer understanding of what the end goal was or what I could help them with, it also helped put skin in the game for me and to give care more to ensure that the people that I am working with are getting the results that I'm promising, if that makes sense. So not at, when that, at that point, the moment that I've got clear on my promise, my message, my purpose is the moment that I've really started to scale and increase not only like the amount of people that I'm working with, but obviously the value that I can offer and the end result, my bank account as well. So Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, and then in your opinion, what is the key to happiness? I think um, it's just being grateful. Being grateful and, and just living in the now. Um, you know, it's so easy to get caught up in, in striving for the next thing, um, striving for the next goal loss, you know, having something that you're working towards, right? But if, you, if you're not grateful for what you have right now, um, and the situation, no matter how shitty it may be, you'll never love or appreciate whatever it is that you're striving for because it will just never be good enough. The moment you start to understand and appreciate what you have and um, and the, the circumstances, the life that you're in now is the moment that you'll start to enjoy it more and more and um, and fall in love with, with life. With, I guess with, with your process, with who you really are and what you're all about. Hmm. And then what is the best book that you've read and what's the number one thing you learned from that? Think and Grow Rich. And I think what I've learned about it is not only that um, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill and one of the things that I, I sort of just take from it is um, specifically just getting around the people who are going to uplift you. You know, if you haven't got people around you who are, you know, a couple of steps in front of you, um, then you need to because otherwise you're going to have this, you know, you can sit and you can be the best person in your, in your circle of friends and things like that. But until you step outside of your comfort zone, start hanging around some people who are in front of you and start working to be at that level, then you won't, you won't ever get anywhere. Um, and like the old cliche saying, you know, you're the equivalent of the five people that you hang out with. I'm a massive, massive um, fan of that. And um, Thinking Grow Rich talks about masterminds and, and things like that. Um, being around the right people and um, having a positive attitude about a lot of things and, and yeah. Mm. And then what is your favorite quote and why? Oh, um, okay. I don't know who said this, um, 
But a lot, all right, I'll just give some context, just a brief context as to why this is my favourite quote. So the quote is, um, uh, how does it go? Um, the people who matter don't mind and the people who do mind don't matter. Okay, now what that means is that um, I, I work with a lot of businesses, coaches, consultants, social media strategies, and one of the biggest things that we talk about is, um, is getting their brand out there, um, getting online, doing Facebook Lives and a whole bunch of other stuff. And a lot of people have this fear of, of jumping online um, because of what people say and things like that. And the, the reason that quote's really important is because um, – if you're going out to do something that you're passionate about and that you love, people, the people who do matter don't mind. Um, sorry, people who do – I've lost it. So <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> yeah, but you get what I mean is, that, is the fact that, like, the people who do matter don't mind and the people who are hating on you because you will get people who are like, what the fuck are you doing? You know, why are you doing this? Why are you always posting on social media? Um, they just don't get it and they don't understand. And so it's okay um, to have people who don't understand it, that don't agree. Um, and sometimes it may be the closest people to you who have those opinions. And Gary V talks about this a lot. And sometimes, you know, you, know you, need to, you need to separate yourself from those people who are holding you back and things like that. Yes. Dude, thank you so much yes. for coming on. I'm a huge Gary V fan as well. Um, yeah. And yeah, the last one I have for you before we let you go is where can our audience best find you online? Yeah, sure. So I do have a Facebook group full of absolute legends, coaches, <coughs> pardon me, consultants, things like that. Um, it's called the Australian Hustle, but it's welcome to anyone. Um, the just because it's called the Australian Hustle, it doesn't mean it's just for Australians. Um, it is for anyone who would love to learn social media strategies to attract their ideal client on a regular, consistent basis. Um, I'm always doing bits and pieces here, there, everywhere. Um, and at some point, I'd love to have you on for an interview as well. So um, we'll have to make that happen as well. Awesome, brother. I look forward to it. Thank you again. <laughs> yeah, no problems. Thank you. For, thanks for having me. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.